Rubber sole versus leather sole. What's the difference? Which one is better? Gentlemen, that's the subject of today's video. So I had this great question asked me the other day, the guy's Antonio, what is better? the leather sole or the rubber sole. There's advantages, disadvantages to each, and my answer to him is it depends. I know, not exactly what you're looking for, but understand it does depend on your financial position. How much money do you have to spend on those shoes? Also, what is your personal and your professional need and the styles that you like, the brands that you're going and shopping at? What are they actually manufacturing? And depending on if they're using leather or they're using rubber, are you gonna be comfortable with the advantages, disadvantages of each of the materials? And the, all that goes into play to you making the right purchasing decision. So guys, let me say straight up, focus in on the function and focus in on the fashion. Those two things, if you understand the advantages and disadvantages when it comes to those particular uh, issues right there, you will be able to choose the right shoes for you. But first off, let's start with a little bit of history. So when it comes to shoes and leather, understand that this is where it started. Why? Leather from various animals, because of the density and the properties of the leather, it simply worked. It was durable. You could walk on this thousands and thousands of times and it would protect your feet. It had just enough cushion that it just simply worked. Then about 200 years ago, we saw rubber hit the manufacturing scene. And the big thing about this is that they were able to take materials, which were kind of a luxury material, materials that were expensive, and they were able to replace them in many times with various types of rubber. And all of a sudden, they were able to get exactly and even better than many other properties that leather had at a fraction of the price. And that's key. Because of the cost difference right here of the actual goods going into the material and what they were building here, all of a sudden, they were able to lower the price. So you saw a lot of lower end manufacturing Manufacturers go after this immediately simply because they were able to make something that cost a lot less. Now, this is with a problem with rubber is that we saw because they were going for the low cost, they actually changed up the manufacturing process. So when we look at this right here, you see stitching in on and around this. On a lot of the rubber soles out there, you will see no stitching because they are glued on. What they use is this like really thick cement glue that is specifically designed to keep the rubber on to the, basically the upper part of the shoe. They connect that with glue. The problem with this is that it's just going to, over time, you can have the shoe fall apart. It's less costly to actually build it this way. And that's why a lot of rubber soles get the bad name. It's not so much the sole, but it's the construction process that's used. So if you're able to find a rubber sole like this one right here that actually has stitching on it, you actually, in a sense, you're getting a good quality shoe that uh, is kind of getting rid of that gluing process. When you find something like that, you can actually get a great deal. People talk about, oh, look for leather on the sole. Well, that's a mark of quality because if you're using leather here, it has to be sewn on. So that's a general, basically, rule of thumb that if you see a leather sole, usually the dress shoe is going to be of higher quality, but that's not always the case. One of the reasons people love these rubber soles, and we're going to get into the function aspect of it, is because they actually have a lot more grip. Right off, after you've worn these for five minutes, you could you know, walk through a little bit of water and you're not gonna slip and slide all over the place. If anyone has ever worn leather soles right off, you have, I know I have slipped on my butt and it's something that drives me nuts about shoes like this. A lot of them though, what they're gonna do is these manufacturers, they'll bring in a small strip of rubber right in here on the heel. Sometimes you'll see it go right across here and that can actually help with giving it a bit more traction. But when it comes to actually getting the best traction, you wanna have more surface area so it's gonna have a full rubber sole. Another advantage though for these guys when it comes to the function aspect of this is that I can get this resold. Now again, if this was stitched on, you can get this resold sometimes as well, but not always. But here, whenever you see a Blake stitch, you see a Goodyear weld, all of a sudden, boom, you're able to get this resold. So when you're looking at boots, this boot right here, notice there is no stitching on it. This shoe right here, it's not gonna be able to be resold. This one is gonna, once you've actually worn through the boot, but a lot of these, by the way, these rubber soles here, depending on what material they use, this could last for years. So I'm not saying that you have to stay away from something like this, I just want you to be aware of the disadvantages here versus this rubber sole, and this one, by the way, is Thursday boots, and uh, they've got this stitching right here with the Goodyear welt. 
You notice this one right here, another dress shoe. This company is Alden. They've got the stitching. Again, a Goodyear welt right in here. So this one, leather. And as you can see, one of the things I like about leather is it really actually does start to get some traction. Once it's been torn up a bit, all of a sudden you've got this surface area. Now, when it comes, we talked about the functionality of it and understanding that, yes, what I love about the leather, it can be resold. But understand the fashion aspect, a lot of people are going to stay away from rubber because they feel, oh, it's going to be a little bit more cumbersome. It's going to be a little bit too thick. Now, not exactly. Notice these shoes right here. These are Paul Evans. They actually made these. And look at that profile. It's, it's a great profile. And they did it very well with the rubber sole. And this one right here has a Blake stitch, so you could send it in, get it resold. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, Antonio, I've got these great shoes and you know, they've got the leather sole on them. I love them. And this right here is just not giving me enough traction, which this by the way is made by Alan Edmonds. You can actually find, go to a cobbler and get these, or you can order them online. I'll put a link down in the description and you could actually purchase something like this, slap it right on, use a, this type of cement glue on here, and you can actually add your own rubber after the fact. So this is something, it's going to add a bit of height on it, but for a pair of chuckas like this, casual, it's not really going to make a difference. I would say if you're going to do this on a pair of dress shoes, you want to go with the type of rubber sole that it isn't going to add much to the height. There are some of these out there that you're going to see, they're made for boots in particular. They've got a lot more traction and you want to be careful of, you don't want to put that on a pair of dress shoes. But getting back to the question, what is better, leather or rubber? Guys, it depends on your needs. But just understand the difference. Understand what you're looking for. If you don't want to go slipping and sliding when you buy those shoes right off, you know, then maybe go for a rubber sole. If you can find it made that it's been stitched using either a Goodyear welt or a Blake stitch. But if not, look for the leather. Always a sign of quality. All right, gents, now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. Are you a leather sole man? Are you a rubber sole man? Or are you going to go with whatever works for you and your particular needs? I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments. And uh, that's it, guys. Take care. I appreciate you. I appreciate the community we built here at Real Men Real Style. And uh, I'm excited about 2018. What is coming up here soon? Uh, I can tell you I'm working on improving my videos, creating some new stuff that you've never seen before. That's it, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.